make yourself a role model of Rasul Salam Uswa. What do you call? Uswa Husna, the beautiful conductor Rasul Akram Sallallahu Salam. It should emanate from you. It should emanate from you. From your behavior, from your conduct, from your talking. You know, polite your in talk, gentle in speech, kind and loving, you know, to your friends and kind and loving to your wife. Love come by falling law. Opposite in Islam. Allah says, you know, if you follow Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, Allah will love you. You understand? And if you forgive your sins, what do you understand from that? We, Allah's love is by following His law. Am I right? Be. <laughs> 
get the point. And so Sahl Sahl ibn Hisham radiallahu ta'ala anhu warda, he's asking Aisha that sort of golden question. كيف كان خلق رسول الله صلى الله عليه وآله وصحبه وسلم How was the character of the Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم ألا تقرأ القرآن أما تقرأ القرآن Do you not read the Quran And said Aisha رضي الله عنها ورضاه in a language here It's what's called تعريد here in اللغة العرب She's saying in a very gentle and polite way In order to ensure that Sayyidina Sahil ibn Hisham رضي الله عنه ورضاه Understands the answer of Aisha بلا Of course I recite the Quran He says كان خلق القرآن she says his character was the Quran, meaning in accordance to your knowledge of the Quran is going to be in proportional to that is your knowledge of the character of the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wa sahi wa sallama. And the meaning is in the end of the hadith, which Imam Ghazali was going to bring that Sahih bin Hisham radiallahu anhu warda. He said, I stood up and thereby I resolved never to ask a question ever again. Because the entire answer is that and when the Prophet informed us that the closest of you to me upon the day of judgment are those of you in the best of character, then if, if it is about proximity to the Prophet and it is, then it's all about character. If, if it's about you, your understanding of Yawm Al-Qiyamah, the Mizan, Bil Qist, Mawazin Bil Qist, that when the actual scales are erected in justice, and it's about how weighty your deeds are upon the Day of Judgment, Amam Allah, in front of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, then likewise in Tirmidhi, the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, wa sallam, afqalu al Mizan, he said the most heaviest, weightiest thing upon the scales, Yawm Al-Qiyamah, Husnul Khuluq. Good character, husnul khuluq. As a husnul khuluq, kulla shay. It is everything. That's why the imams, radiallahu anhum, wardahum, and the greatest of them, al-Ghazali, rahimahullah ta'ala, have been preoccupied with the reality, the topic of husnul khuluq in and of itself. 